Hi, my name's Dr. Colin Robertson. I'm a scientific research specialist here at Zinzino, but my background really has been sports performance. I'm a sports scientist and sports nutritionist. So everything really from working as a strength and conditioning coach, working with national and international rugby teams, most notably taking the Ireland team to the World Cup in 2008 down in Australia and working in Premiership football and working with GB athletes who participated in three Olympic cycles so Beijing, London, Rio and I'm an environmental physiologist so I've helped a lot of athletes to prepare to engage and participate in, in some demanding places around the world everything from rowing across the Atlantic to summiting on top of Mount Everest. I've always been involved at the point whereby we're looking at how we can best manage the athletes either individually or as a squad or a group or a team. And as I said previously, that's either with regards to exercise physiology, looking at how they adapt, looking at how we can best recover them, or looking at nutritional factors, how we can best enhance the diet to facilitate better training, better training outcomes, and to facilitate that recovery and adaptation. And then obviously, getting my hands dirty in the gym as an s &C coach. So putting those programs and periodization plans together and helping you know, really get involved in developing those athletes. But throughout my entire career, and certainly over the past 20 years, I've been heavily involved in, in research. I've been based at some big research institutes and really taking that approach to addressing problems, finding solutions, goes hand in hand with working as a practitioner within elite sport or performance sport. And my main interest has always hovered around nutrition and, and the power, the influence that good nutrition has on the individual, whether within health, I'm currently a part of the Greater Manchester Health Innovation Board, I'm a part of the UK's response to COVID with the Advanced Clinical Practice Group, working in partnership with Health Education England, looking at the types of practitioners we're going to need in a post-COVID world. Um, I've worked with cities changing diabetes, looking at the reversibility of type 2 diabetes through physical activity, exercise, and nutritional choices, and a number of projects that have targeted better treatment outcomes for those people who are undergoing um, various types of treatments for cancer. But within all those kind of areas, a key part of what I've looked at, again, is the role that nutrition plays, either from an epigenetic point of view, how we can bring in good foods to bring about positive changes to our gene expression, or really just looking at how we can amplify the training response. All of that research and all of that kind of understanding and applied practice is what brought me to Zenzino in the first place, because I'm very solution-focused. I like to empower people with things that make a difference, whether that's telling them how many more reps they should do, how fast they should run, how many more contacts, passes, whatever it is, and certainly when it comes to what should make it to the plate. And I'm very anti-fad and anti-snake you know, snake oil. Uh, the, the world is saturated with both things that promise a quick fix and things that actually make big claims over things they can't deliver. So again, that's what brought me to Zinzino because Zinzino were the opposite of that. The very first thing that drew my attention to Zinzino was the fact that they were a test-based nutrition company. And that the test they rolled out was a dry blood spot sampling test, looking at fatty acid profile and determining whether or not a person had a sufficient index of omega-3s, those polyunsaturated fatty acids, which we know are vital to our health, wellness and performance, and whether or not that ratio was in the right check at a cellular level. And this to me was really advanced thinking. And when I noticed you know, and became aware that they were partners with the VTAS labs, world famous laboratories in order to roll out this type of test and, and give people that information. Well, that, that actually resonated with me and, and encouraged me all the more to take this seriously because I knew that the, the fish oil industry just didn't work. You know, they'd refine the fish oil to the point that it was no longer effective. And, you know, have a look at the research. We know that for a fact. And yet Zindino had developed a product called Balance Oil, which reattached the omega-3 to the polyphenol 
and I knew that this was this was a key part of what made this effective. And then we had the nature of the independent double blinded test so that we were really informing and empowering people to make better choices with regards to their health and their performance. So that was one of the key things. And then obviously the fact that they were aligned to inform choice. And for anyone who doesn't know who's more familiar with in informed sport, informed choice is, is the same level of certification. They just don't test every batch. So since coming on board with Zinzino and coming from a, science, a sports science background, that's something I've really championed is the notion that we should go back to this notion of in, informed sport rather than informed choice to give those sport and practitioners and those athletes that gold standard of assurance that what we do is completely contaminant free and, and it's safe and is endorsed by informed sport and and we've done that we've achieved that in the in the time that i've been here so we're now re-registered not only with informed choice but also informed sport so any athlete any any nutritionist any s c coach can make our products available to their athletes with that assurance that it's safe, that it's batch tested, and that it's verified. And why would they want to do that? So everyone's familiar with macro profile and carb intake, protein intake, you know, daily calorific balance. You know, these are, this is the common language of sports performance. But the fact is, is that without the omega-3s, without our control of inflammation, obviously we want the acute inflammation. That's what triggers that, that fundamental response that leads to the adaptation we require, we require. But we want to control inflammation beyond that. And that's where the omega-3 comes into its own, along with the polyphenol. But when we look purely at sports performance, you know, there's been some outstanding work that's been done in that area with regards to what having a sufficient amount of the omega-3, the EPA and the DHA does for the athlete. And one of the first things it does is it increases the anabolic response. So in the wake of training, we get more bang for buck. We get a, an enhanced anabolic response. But that comes with the second part, which is really beneficial to us, which is that we see a less sorry we see less of a breakdown in the muscle tissue so we're getting less of a net catabolic response <clears throat> and we're getting a greater anabolic response so this is perfect for the athlete we are losing less to gain more that places us exactly where we want to be with regards to our adaptation and with regards to our continuing improvement at an athletic level and then the third part which is really interesting is that study after study has shown that an athlete's perception or experience of post-exercise discomfort, DOMS, pain, whichever you want to, you know, whatever phrase you like to use, is lessened. So we see less of a dramatic negative impact post-training. So we have athletes that are keen to train more. We have athletes that are experiencing less of a catabolic phase, <clears throat> and we're getting athletes who are benefit and benefiting from an enhanced anabolic phase. So pretty much every aspect of what we would want to underpin and to support sports performance is verified through the research literature. There are a host of recognized health benefits that are associated towards having somebody at that greater than 8% omega-3 index. And I would encourage you to have a quick look at the research in that area to see what that aligns to. Because obviously the welfare the wellness, the health of our athletes matters every bit as much as their performance. Long gone are the days where athletes spent themselves, broke themselves to achieve, and then were left in, in ruin once their career was over. You know, we look much for much more, sorry, long term than that. We're looking at optimizing the lifespan of our athletes, of our of our you know our sports players. And we're also looking at the consequences of that and making sure that they are fit and well and healthy post-career so that they can have their second or third career whenever that takes them. And really at the heart of all this, we see that nutrition is fundamental to the achieving those outcomes. Nutrition and the quality of nutrition is fundamental to supporting best training practices, to support and facilitating the adaptation we require and for maintaining the health status of the individual, of those athletes that are under our care. So every bit as much as important as our protein considerations, as our carbohydrate considerations, as our overall calorific yield considerations, 
comes our understanding and recognition of what the polyunsaturated fatty acids do and play in, in that entire matrix. Because if they're so vital, which they are at a cellular level, and essentially that's what all of us are, our collections of billions and billions of cells. If we're not right at that level, we can't be right at a gross architectural level. So simply the role they play in that part, the role they play with regards to managing inflammation within the body and the role they play in those three key outcomes with regards to our training makes them a vital go-to commodity within our nutritional strategy. And where we see that applied well, we see enhanced success and we see enhanced adaptation and performance. And that's the key thing that we're all working to. Within the balance oil product, although I don't really want to delve too much into product specifics, you know, we also have a, a daily hit of vitamin D. And as we stand now in the, in the year 2021, everyone in the world has become aware of just how important vitamin D is with regards to maintaining and supporting the normal function of the immune system. So within this one hit, we have the, the polyphenol. We have that vital EPA and DHA, the omega-3s, and we have that vitamin D. Balance oil is just really, really good quality food. That's what it is. It, it puts us in balance. It puts us where we should be, how we would have been before food tech interfered with how we eat and gives us a better opportunity to be our best. It's one of a host of products that Zenzino do. Everything that Zeno does is aligned towards optimizing health and giving people usable strategies that are, that are easy to adopt rather than having to make whole stock changes, which again lends itself perfectly to the elite sports performance. So if you have any more questions about what we do, why we do it, the research that we're engaged in currently and what we're kicking on forward, then please reach out to the person who's either shown you this video or get in touch with me direct at zinzino.com. <laughs>